What's up guys? I am ready to go fishing. Got the top off the Jeep, got the poles loaded on the top, got all the stuff on the inside, and guess what the hell it's doing. It's freaking raining. Can you believe that? I, I get three hours of sleep, get up at four o'clock in the morning, want to get out there before it gets daylight, and it's freaking raining. And I got my top off. Guys, we're out in my favorite, favorite place in the whole wide world, the Texas surf. <laughs> and today, I'm going to catch something. If I don't catch something, you guys can give me hell down in the comments, but I'm going to freaking catch something today. Maybe a whale, maybe a big 20-foot shark. I'm going to catch something, I'm going to tell you that. Check out the sunrise. And yeah, I got my shades on because I'm that freaking cool. Over there. You can see the guys way over there. They got this big shark thing. They built this thing on the back of their pickup truck and they all stand up there like they're something big. They're gonna reel in Moby Dick or something. You, you should see these guys, it's hilarious, man. I don't know what, what the thrill is of catching shark. Let them do what they wanna do. Well, I had planned to be out here an hour before sunrise, but went by the bait store, my favorite bait store. They ain't got no live bait, so couldn't get any mullet. Went by uh, Causeway and Red Dot, no live bait. So we stuck with whatever we catch today. So let's get this video rolling. Hopefully we get lucky today. Ah, we're gonna be using a rooster popper. Right here, my favorite. Sun's rising up out of the water. Surf's not all that bad. Could be worse. It's a green flag today, which is rare. So we gotta get out by past those waves that are breaking so I don't get slammed. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see what we can do. Hardly no seaweed whatsoever. Man, nothing on the rooster popper. This has been the worst year for lures out here in the surf. It's crazy. By now I'd have three or four fish. So, we're just gonna bait it up with some fish bites and some shrimp. That's how I load my, uh, my fish bites, shrimp flavor, and then some shrimp on a pompano rig with about a four ounce weight, like a spider weight. And that's what I usually catch my whiting. And um, whiting drum, pompano, and stuff like that. Let's get this thing out there and see if we can maybe uh, pull a drum in or something. And my shrimp comes off. Oh well. All right, here we go. Make sure the drag's set. Baited with fish bites and uh, shrimp. Shrimp flavor, fish bites. Having some issues with my pole. So 
it's not coming out of the real right. This has got to be the worst damn year for fishing, surf fishing, that I, I've ever seen. Got here about a little before seven o'clock, threw some lures, not even a bite. So I, I don't know what's going on. Now I have fish bites on both these poles out here and some shrimp. Nobody had any live bait today, so that's what I was gonna get some live mullet. And uh, maybe my luck would change, but I don't know. But these poles have been out there for about 30, 45 minutes normally. They're only out there for about 10 minutes and I'm getting a bite. So I don't know what's going on with, with, with the surf fishing in Port Aransas. So I'm gonna actually, if I don't get a bite in about 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna go to Padre Island. So hang on guys, we'll try to catch something today. Padre Island, probably mile marker 10 in the four wheel drive section. You can see all the birds hitting the water out there. So I drove all the way down here till I seen birds hitting the water. And uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna get some poles out, try right here, see if we can bring something in. Come on, be a damn fish. At least they're biting out here on Padre Island. I think I got a fish, guys. Yeah, I got a fish. Remember, I told you, even if I catch a minnow, see what it is. Look at that, good size freaking whiting. Look at that size of that whiting there. I actually, I actually hooked him in the side right here. See that? Good size whiting. I'm gonna go ahead and keep him. Maybe I can catch like 10 of these things. I see what it is. It's getting stuck on a little dent. You see that little gas right there? My line's getting stuck on that little gas, so this is what's wrong with this pole. So I gotta sand that down, get rid of that gas. Cause you see I'm having to unwind it cause it keeps hitting that damn gas right there. And there ain't nothing I can do about it. Um, that only whiting I've caught is cup bait. Let's see if we can see anything coming up to the line. The water's not too dirty out there, so it should be pretty good. You guys can see the underwater camera. Let's see if maybe we can catch a uh, trout or redfish or something. I want to get this thing out there pretty good. Here we go. All right. I ain't gonna whip it out there, man, because I don't want to lose it. So we'll leave it out there and see if any fish come by it. Maybe some will grab it.
I'm inside the damn Jeep, man, because these horse flies out here, they're tearing the shit out of me, man. And those things hurt. I don't know if you guys have been bit by one, but that's the first time I've been bit by one in freaking 20 something years. And when it hit the back of my leg, it felt like a bee sting. I'm telling you, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes, horse flies, sand fleas. I don't know what, what the hell. I'm just getting all chewed up. But, anyways, I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys can see those birds way the hell out there. I don't know if you can. They're, they're right out in front of me. And there's a black shadow underneath them. And I've been watching that shadow move back and forth. But I can't get out there. <clears throat> it gets too deep where I can't cast. I mean, I can't reach that area. But I think there's a, a bait ball out there because earlier the pelicans were all here. Almost got the back pole. I got a full bag of trash. All right, guys. That's got to be the heaviest damn bag of pet trash that I've ever picked up. So I got, I got this entire area around me clean. Now I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Peace.